Number 10. Mysterious Ancient Warrior The skeleton of a very mysterious ancient warrior has just been uncovered in Russia, and it is boggling archaeologists. First of all, the warrior was found buried next to a small child, and researchers don't know if the two are linked or not. Both skeletons were found next to each other, with each dating back around 200 AD. The warrior was discovered with a short sword in a sheath made of leather and a quiver with a full set of arrowheads. And to make things even stranger, the warrior's skeleton showed signs that he had undergone some rudimentary brain surgery previous to his death. There is a gaping hole in his head that was not caused by a wound on the battlefield. The hole appears to have been made during some kind of gruesome surgery, which was ultimately the cause of death for the warrior. As for the child, it's not clear whether it's a boy or a girl, and it's not clear what the cause of death was. The child was only around two years old when they died, and they were buried with a small trove of treasures, including jewelry interned with precious gemstones which depict incredible scenes from Greek mythology. The expensive jewelry suggests that the child had an important place in whichever society these two skeletons came from. One of the most fascinating depictions on the child's jewelry is the legendary Greek hero Perseus, holding up the decapitated head of Medusa, the gorgon that turned men to stone. So far, archaeologists have not been able to identify either skeleton, and they don't know why the child was important, and they have no idea why the ancient warrior was given what almost looks like a frontal lobotomy. Number 9. Unknown Cave Exposed In Antarctica, an unknown and extremely mysterious cave was recently exposed by using Google Maps on a remote island, and some people are now claiming that the cave could be either an entrance into a hollow part of the Earth or a military cover-up. This discovery was made a couple of years ago, and the origins of the strange cave are still unknown today. What's really strange is that the cave appeared out of nowhere in 2007, and then vanished from Google Maps just six months later. The sighting was made at Greenwich Island in the very south of Antarctica. The entrance was so big that hundreds of people could have walked through it at the exact same time. There have been some fairly logical theories so far, like some who say the mysterious cave may have been lost because of melting ice, and that definitely makes sense. However, there did appear to be steps leading up to the cave in the images revealed by Google Maps. It definitely looked like something man-made, which makes it all the more mysterious that it vanished from view just overnight. There could be something strange going on in Antarctica that nobody wants us to know about, or this could just be a natural phenomenon. Right now, nobody knows the truth, especially not mainstream scientists. Have you ever visited Antarctica? What was it like? Tell me what you saw there in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already for more intense videos. Number 8. Secret Underground Alien Base The town of Dulce in New Mexico is a small desert town without so much as a single traffic light. And while it may look quaint and innocent on the outside, it might just be a mirage. Some people are claiming that underneath the town of Dulce is a huge underground facility home to some of the most unimaginable technologies and experimental devices. Some people even claim that the underground base is filled with aliens and secrets that would make people's heads explode. But, of course, these crazy theories are not totally unfounded. According to How Stuff Works, the first claims of a secret base here date back to the 1930s. But it wouldn't be for another 40 years until rumors of aliens began to circulate. It all started when Gabe Valdez with the New Mexico State Police began investigating cattle mutilations in the area of Dulce. This cop apparently found a bit more than just mutilated cattle, such as gas masks, glow sticks, pieces of radar, and other confusing artifacts. He also reported seeing a spacecraft in the area and discovering a dead cow with the fetus of a human-monkey-frog hybrid inside of it, which of course means that someone was using cows to incubate alien babies. To this very day, nobody knows for sure if there really is a secret underground base beneath Dulce. Some claim there are hidden tunnels in the mountains, but nobody really knows, and the government is definitely not saying anything.
Number 7. Drilling at White Island White Island is the most active volcano in New Zealand, located only a few miles from the mainland. It is a stratovolcano, with great prevalence in the ancient Maori myths and legends. It has been continuously active ever since it was first discovered by James Cook in 1769. White Island is also the mysterious site where a lot of people have died. You can only see a fragment of the volcano itself above the water. It's really just the peak pointing out. The rest of the volcano goes down to the sea floor. White Island became prosperous in the 1840s when it was discovered that sulfur and gypsum could be extracted from the land. That was when mining operations began on White Island, extracting sulfur and gypsum in huge amounts. According to the Auckland Museum, between 1885 and 1900, more than 5,000 tons of sulfur were extracted and sent to the mainland for use in the vulcanization of rubber, the manufacturing of gunpowder and matches, and pharmaceuticals and pesticides. But here's where the mystery and horror comes in. On September 10, 1914, 10 miners were killed when a crater wall collapsed inside of the mine and engulfed the men in a volcanic mud flow known as Lahar. The only surviving member of the crew was Peter the Great, a resident cat. He was found three weeks later totally uninjured. Unfortunately, the bodies of the workers were never seen again. Number 6. The Giant's Footprint in South Africa, there is apparently a giant's footprint preserved in a rock overhang that some people believe proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that giants really did walk the earth. The footprint is located in a remote area a couple hundred miles east of Johannesburg, very close to the border with Swaziland. The footprint is a fairly popular tourist attraction, with someone even spray painting the name Goliath over top of it. The print stands 3 feet 11 inches tall, 1.1 meters, from toe to heel, and is oriented vertically. The really confusing part is that it's vertical, meaning the giant who made the huge footprint would have had to kick the stone to make such an impression. This doesn't make a lot of sense. According to Robert Schoch, a renowned researcher who has written books on ancient cultures and alien artifacts, the giant's footprint is actually just a natural occurrence. Robert claims the footprint was formed because of natural weathering and erosion, and the fact that it directly matches a giant human's foot is totally a coincidence, just like seeing an angel in the clouds. And really, if you look closely at the rock where the footprint was formed, you can even see the impression of a snowman. So is this a giant's footprint or just humans having overactive imaginations? Right now, we don't really know for sure. Number 5. The Cemetery of Pets Archaeologists have just discovered what can only be described as a massive pet cemetery, filled with the graves of nearly 600 cats and dogs. Each pet was given their own burial plot, some were still wearing collars or other decorations, and initial analysis has shown that they were cared for despite injuries and old age, just as we do today for our pets. This was only 2,000 years ago in Egypt. The graves were found on the coast near the Red Sea in the early Roman port town of Berenice. The site was a huge mystery when it was first discovered 10 years ago. It took a decade for excavations to reveal the pet cemetery, which according to Michael McKinnon, a zoo archaeologist from the University of Winnipeg, was unlike anything else he had ever uncovered. The cemetery itself was found just outside the ancient city walls underneath a Roman trash dump. The animals were not mummified, none of them appeared to have been sacrificed, and the strangest part is some of the pets were even monkeys. But there is one thing that archaeologists and scientists can't figure out. They don't understand why the people of the seaport town 2,000 years ago valued their pets so much more than anyone else in the ancient world. It could be that they had emotional bonds with their animals. Or it could be that the animals were respected because of their jobs, either killing rats or acting as guards for people's homes. Number 4. Pumapunku The ancient site of Pumapunku in Bolivia is one of the most mysterious and boggling places of historic value on Earth. 
academic archaeologists and historians alike have almost no idea what was going on with the advanced prehistoric civilization that constructed this city. Whether they were true geniuses, or whether they had help from extraterrestrial teachers. Puma Punku spans a large area south of the ancient city of Tiwanaku, near the infamous Lake Titicaca. It predates even the Inca civilization in South America. But the big mystery to scientists here is the complexity of the structures inside the ruins of the ancient city. The doorways were cut in such a way that suggests laser technology was used. Not a single chisel mark has been found, and some of these stones interlock in such a way that would almost be impossible. Even with today's advanced technology, you can't even fit a needle through some of the building's blocks. According to Jason Yeager, a professor of anthropology working with the University of Wisconsin, by the time the Incas conquered the area in 1470, the city was already abandoned and the original inhabitants were ghosts. The Inca then incorporated Pumapunku into the rest of their empire and their culture, but the people who actually built the original site never returned. To make matters even more confusing, the exact age of Pumapunku is highly debated. Radiocarbon dating says that the city was constructed around 500 AD, while some professional archaeologists say it dates back to 15,000 BC. Even today, nobody knows the truth about this ancient place. Number 3. Mystery of the Mass Grave one of the most thoroughly excavated ancient places in all of Macedonia is the Roman colony of Skupai, located in the northern region of the country. But even though there have been digs going on here for decades, archaeologists were still shocked in 2011 when they discovered a previously unknown mass grave that turned out to be one of the largest massacres in the last few hundred years. The archaeologists managed to identify around 180 male skeletons that had been tossed into a shallow pit and then buried. Most of the men had been decapitated, and most of them had their arms tied behind their backs. Some bones even showed signs of major violence, such as cleaving and breaking. According to the archaeologists working on the site, it was a terrible thing to behold, and looked like a modern massacre. But here's the mystery. Nobody knows why the men were killed, decapitated, and then dumped into this murder pit. They could have been executed. They could have been prisoners of war. The dead men may even have been part of a conflict during the destabilization of the Roman Empire near its great and dramatic fall in the 4th century AD. Number 2. Strange Goddess Statue Farmers have just discovered a giant, six-foot-tall statue of a mysterious female that could be a goddess. This happened inside of a Mexican citrus grove, when farmers digging in the dirt randomly came upon the statue. Archaeologists were called in to investigate, and their initial findings showed that the statue could represent an elite woman, a previously unknown goddess, or a mixture of both. The discovery was recently announced by the National Institute of Anthropology and History in Mexico, and it was the first statue of its kind to be found in the Huasteca region. The carving of the woman likely dates back to between 1450 and 1520. The statue also has distinct Aztec influences. But other than all these plain facts, archaeologists don't know who the statue depicts or how she ended up buried inside of the citrus grove. Some archaeologists are saying it could be the unknown goddess of a fertility cult created by the ancient Aztecs, but the truth is that nobody recognizes her. The woman's face hasn't appeared on other artifacts, and right now her existence is a huge mystery. Number 1. The Sayama Lines The Sayama Lines in Bolivia are very similar to the Nazca Lines in Peru, but a little different and a little bit more mysterious. These lines are also geoglyphs, and they were etched into the ground over a duration of about 3,000 years by whatever indigenous people resided near the Sayama volcano. Nobody knows why they were constructed, kind of like with the Nazca lines, and many alien astronaut theorists claim that the technology used to make the lines would have been impossible to obtain for the ancient people living in the area. But what exactly are the Sayama lines? These are straight lines carved like paths into the ground that stretch for up to 12 miles or 20 kilometers. The lines cover a huge area, 
where each line is perfectly straight, and together they create a web unlike anything seen anywhere else on Earth. Their precision is remarkable. How exactly the lines were created, what they could have possibly been used for 3,000 years ago, and whose hands carved them in the Earth is still a major mystery to this very day. And to be honest, scientists hardly have a workable theory. Do you have any interesting theories that could solve one of these mysterious discoveries? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already.